Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm back with the GPD XD. And I want to show you how to get your TurboGrafx-16, otherwise known as PC Engine games, up and running in RetroX. We're going to be covering some TurboGrafx-16 games and some PC Engine CD games. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to launch RetroX. Now, I'm on the GPD XD, so I don't have it on TV mode. But if you're using like an NVIDIA Shield, this is going to work the same way. You just need to find the settings in the right spot. I'm going to add my games here. So I'll add a folder for one system. I'm going to scroll down until I find PC Engine. Now this emulator will run PC Engine games and PC Engine CD games. So we're going to go with that. I'm going to navigate to my external storage, which is my 128 gigabyte SD card. ROMs. And I'll find my PC Engine folder where I have my ROMs placed. From here, I have a few PC Engine games, and these are .zip. But if you look, we have a .q and a .iso. These are my PC Engine CD games. I have two of them, Gym Power and R-Type. So if you have a regular PC Engine or TurboGrafx-16 game, it can stay zipped. I'm going to select this folder. Scan now. Press OK. So now from the very top, I'm just going to go to my PC Engine section. And here you are. Here's your PC Engine games. So I've been playing this game here, Child of Dragon, on my NVIDIA Shield. I'm going to start it now on my GPD XD, and it should have my save file from that device out there because this uses cloud saves. So I'll press back. Load state, and both of my saves are here from my NVIDIA Shield. That's one of the best parts about RetroX. So now I'm playing from the same exact spot I saved on my NVIDIA Shield out in the living room. I'm now playing it on my GPD XD. And it runs these really well. Another thing about this GPD XD, Using RetroX and Dreamcast, I get really good performance, so expect a video on that very shortly. I want to test a bunch of games for you guys. I'm super surprised how well this does run Dreamcast. I'm going to back out of this game. Okay, so on to the next PC Engine game, Splatterhouse. I was also playing this on my NVIDIA Shield earlier today. Let's see if my save state is here. Just go back, and I always just do the back function to get to my save and load. Right there. So I'm on stage two here. So these are regular 16-bit, you know, PC Engine games or TurboGrafx-16, whatever you want to call it. In the States, it was known as the TurboGrafx-16. In other parts of the world, it was the PC Engine. And this is a really fun game. I'm going to save this one. And I'll just do latest, mine as well. Now I'm going to move on to a PC Engine CD game. I have two here, R-Type and Gym Power. We're going to go with Gym Power. I'll press start on my controller. So all the keys are already mapped for me, no matter what device I'm using. If I'm using the NVIDIA Shield with the stock Shield controller, the keys are already mapped. If I'm using the GPD XD, they're ready to go. This is a hard game, but it's a cool game. One hit, you're dead. It takes them like three or four hits to die. I've never got really far in this game, ever. 
Oh my gosh, I did not mean to jump, jump. Like I said, it's pretty hard, and it's really just the controls for the PC Engine CD game. I'm back out of here because I just got a game over. And I'm going to try the last PC Engine CD game I have, R-Type. So when it comes up with a PC Engine CD game and it says push run button, just press start. It'll load it right up. R type complete CD. So, this is one of my favorite ports of R type. Pretty much every system ever made has a port of this game, and uh, even the ZX Spectrum has a port of this game, which isn't that great. But this is my favorite one here the PC Engine CD version. And I still haven't got a power up. Real quick before we get out of here, there's a few options with PC Engine. You go to render type. Flat, soft, scan line, soft, scan lines, medium. So there's a few of these that you can choose. Now, some of these 4X BR hybrid CRT are gonna affect performance. So depending on what device you're having, really depends on what shader you can add. So that's it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. That was just a quick tutorial on how to set up PC Engine in Retro X on pretty much any Android system. I happen to be using the GPD XD and it plays these really good. So if you're interested in one of these, I'm gonna leave a link to where I got mine down below. It's up to you. I have tons of videos on this, so I will also leave links there to the playlist. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe. And like always, thanks for watching.